So these are how long? These are about three weeks. Wow. These guys over here, a little bit older. Uh, these these guys would be about two and a half months old. Guys, you can watch them grow. Yeah. Well, when you see the ones out there, the big fish out. So each one of these tanks has 5,000. We have the lowest stocking density in the industry because we don't use antibiotics, it's essential. You can see the fish have a lot of space in here. They're not packed cheek to gel as you would see in most fish farms. The roots are actually down in the water, and as the water flows through, the root structures collect the suspended and dissolved solids over time. Mm -hmm. So, if you were to do this in an aquaponic, or excuse me, a hydroponic system, those roots would be translucent. A new form of uh, food production and distribution is a necessary component uh, going forward. We can't survive uh, dependent on, on a food production system that where we're losing two acres of productive farmland every minute of every day, where we're increasingly dependent upon GMOs and antibiotics and growth hormones and, and other things to reach proper yields per acre. Uh, we're, we know we're losing uh, water resources at uh, every minute of every day. Uh, so how are we going to feed ourselves in the future? A system that uses less water and produces higher yields, in our case 90% uh, less water with yields that can be 10 or 11 times higher per acre than conventional farming, has got to be a necessary uh, part of the food distribution and, and production system going forward. And a business model that doesn't assume production thousands of miles away from a market. and so. Having a, a business model that concentrates exclusively on a, a market that is no further than a 100 mile radius of the location of the farm makes a lot of sense on every level. So that's our, that's our model, that's what we're focused on, and that's why we're a sustainable farming operation. It's rooted in, in local, uh, and, and we are local and will always be local. We're just not growing our, our, our crops outdoors, although some of them are. Most of the production is occurring indoors, in greenhouses, or under roof in a fish house.